what up what up chat how's it going what up what up happy friday what up chat what up what up happy friday everyone hope you guys all had an awesome awesome okay i do this every time i think it's a force of habit because i forget what day it is but i knew what day it was today but i still had to look at my phone to check the day i have this habit every time i start stream i say like happy whatever day 
and then I checked my phone to double check that it was actually that day. But I knew today was Friday, I didn't even need to check, it's just a weird force of habit. Anyways, happy Friday, hope you guys all had an awesome, awesome week. I had a, uh, had a busy week. Is this cutting off the top of my head a little bit? Didn't really change much, whatever. Um, I've had a busy week of doing random crap. <laughs> Mostly though, I've been learning uh, a new video editing program. I gotta turn this down. What are we doing? Okay, so. I've been busy this week learning a new video editing program called DaVinci Resolve. A lot of people use it, but I've been a Mac person. Guys, I'm sorry. I prefer Macs over Windows. Windows fucking blows. I hate Windows so much with a passion. It's the worst operating system ever. Only use it for gaming because gaming works on it. <laughs> Yo, Biggie, what up, man? Um, and because I edited with a Mac and still do, Final Cut works really, really well with it, but it's a Mac-only program. But it's so easy for, like, spitting out quick vlogs. Like, you can just fucking pump out edits so fast on that. But if you do more complicated things, like my gaming videos, kind of sucks for it. Kind of sucks for it. So I'm switching over programs, and I've been learning it for the last few days. And I was hoping I could just, like, learn the basics in one day and just move on with it. And I could probably get out a video in a few days. It's taking a little longer to learn it, so... My next gaming video, the first one that's gonna, my first full video that's gonna go up on the new channel, which, by the way, the links should be working correctly today. To my three channels. Fuck. <laughs> Let me fix it. God damn it. <laughs> Got to add in a space. Let me go to stream elements. I was like, oh yeah, I linked my VOD channel and my new gaming channel in that. Nope. Okay, so if I go to chatbot. Is it? Timers, boom. Oh no, it's not a timer. It's um chat commands, custom commands. Where's my YouTube command? Oh, I needed a space there. Let me try it again. Now if I go exclamation point YouTube. Boom, okay. So now I have three channels. The gaming one, which I'll rename in like a week. And then my VOD channel that I just launched the first video today from the last, from the last VOD. Um, and then a vlog channel. Got three YouTube channels now. Three YouTube channels. Not much, just been busy recently. Just landed a one-year partnership with a company. Dude, let's fucking go, man. That's what's up, dude. Hell yeah. That's what's up, man. Dude, that's sick. Congrats, man. Congrats, that's so sick. Cause like, I mean, not that like one time off brand deals and things like that aren't cool, they absolutely are. But knowing you get a, like a consistent stream of like, you know what to expect from a year long partnership, that's sick, man. Dude, c big congrats, big congrats. That's, dude, I'm so happy for you, man. That's so sick, that is so sick. Um, anyways, yeah, yeah, let me finish up my story. Anyways, been spending the last few days trying to learn a new video editing program. Still in the weeds of it. Um, so the next gaming video that I'm going to be pumping out will probably be sometime next week. I'm going to give myself a little bit of grace. <laughs> learn a new video editing program for a few days. Um, so we're going to work, work on it over the weekend. But the plan on that new gaming channel is... Basically, I'm going to do summaries of my stream for the gaming sections and kind of do some voiceovers with it, turn it into good quality gaming videos rather than just like shitty stream highlights. So that's the plan. So that's going to be starting up next week. Fingers crossed. I'm mostly up to speed with learning the new program. We're getting there. Love editing on DaVinci, to be honest, especially editing on Mac using it. Yeah, it's way better optimized for Mac on the free version. There's, there's so many weird things, though, that, like, aren't intuitive in DaVinci that, like, if you, if you didn't start out editing in DaVinci and you started in either Premiere or, like, Final Cut or, I guess, Avid if you're a pro, there's so many just weird quirks that, like, make no sense. 
like uh, the weirdest one I found is like importing footage. So like if I have files on an SD card, plug it into the laptop and I want to import it into DaVinci, it'll like link it. But if I take the SD card out, it didn't actually copy the file over like into the project. And you have to like manually do a separate process of by like importing a folder into some other folder somewhere. It's, it's really weird. It makes no sense. Hopefully they fix that someday. Um, I'll get there though. Overall, I know it's way better. Even like just the audio is so much better to work with. Holy crap. The audio is the main reason I switched. Like when I was making my Alan Wake video for doing a platinum on that thing, I had probably like 10 different audio tracks and trying to work with that many audio tracks in Final Cut is just a nightmare. Like it is just an absolute nightmare, man. It is so bad. Been using the new clip vertical feature for Twitch, quick TikToks in the gaming channel. Dude, heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. Pump out that stuff. Pump it out. That's why I like to hear. That's why I like to hear, man. Yeah, my goal this year with like editing and videos and stuff is just to have way more fun with it rather than being like super serious. And if, if something's not perfect, who gives a shit? Like using just a quick vertical feature like that and not editing it to perfection. Good enough. Rip that out. Post that shit. <laughs> Yeah, I have, a, I have a good feeling it's going to be a good year for a lot of people. Except for, I don't know if you guys saw this on Twitch. We'll see how it goes. But they might be taking away Twitch Prime. They are. They're going to be taking away. They're going to be probably rebranding it. Because the CEO is like, no, we're not getting rid of Twitch Prime. But it's it, or like, it's like it's going to stay around in some capacity or another. Something like that. Basically like alluding like they're changing it. AKA either streamers are only going to get maybe like a dollar from it instead of the 250 or maybe it'll be an incentive to like get cheap subs. We'll see how that goes. That's going to piss a lot of big streamers off. doesn't change my day to day that much, but it's going to piss off a lot of big streamers. That's like probably a lot of people's like 50% of their sub revenue, at least if not more. It's crazy. <laughs> Can't lie, you're gonna make me mad. Yeah. It's honestly, I feel like the regardless of getting money, money's obviously awesome. Twitch Prime is awesome for streamers, but it's more so of like, like almost like getting hooked. And I, I hope Twitch still remembers why it's such a big thing and like they're going to advocate for it but like as a new viewer of twitch back in whenever i started watching twitch like 2017 18 whenever that was i would have never thought to subscribe to someone never never you're like i don't know why i don't get it but then you have your free prime sitting there you're like okay whatever i'll sure i'll use it then all of a sudden you get your you get your badge in chat and you're like oh okay like that's, that's kind of cool like i want to be known as that dude and then month two rolls around, month three rolls around, you get your three month badge, you're like, ooh, and then you kind of like, it's gamified and it's like almost like a, it's a gateway drug. Twitch primes are gateway drugs. And then you're like, yo, thank you so much for the prime, man. Thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate it. I'll enjoy the prime. We'll enjoy the primes while we can. <laughs> Hopefully that won't be the last prime. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. <laughs> much appreciated. But yeah, like honestly, like Twitch primes are literally like a gateway drug. They really are because you get your badges starting to roll up and you're like, ooh, that's, ni that's nice having it in like someone's chat. Like I've been giving my Twitch prime to the same streamer for I think four years now. I've been giving it to Lulu for, I think four, I'm almost at four years. And it's regardless of like, just in the one channel wanting to keep that up. But then all of a sudden you like, oh, I get why it's fun to like subscribe to someone. So then you're way more likely to then subscribe to someone else. I think Twitch would probably 
their smartest move that they could do to like pull back on Twitch Prime and save some money with it, but still kind of keep it around is you can only use your Twitch Prime on someone new. You can't do it a second time to someone. I think that would actually be like the, one of the most beneficial things for so many people of one, realistically, three quarters of viewers only watch a certain amount of people and they'll just stop using their Prime because they say they watch five different streamers consistently. They've already used their Prime on all of those after five months. After that, they, they, they're probably just going to be sitting on their Prime. But there's going to be a lot of people that might start looking for more people to throw their prime to. It'd be an interesting thing. I haven't heard anyone talk about it, but I think it would be really interesting if they did it that way. Like you get your one time prime to streamer. And then after that, you got to give it to someone else. That could be interesting. It would cut down on the amount of primes. Twitch would save a lot of money. Obviously, streamers are still going to lose a lot of money that way. But you never know. It could be interesting. But it would be a gateway drug, basically, into wanting to keep your sub going in lots of people's channels. AKA, you end up spending more money. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Either way, seriously, thanks again for that, Prime Man. I appreciate it. Um, even if Prime goes away, I still fucking love Twitch. Like, Twitch still just has, like, the best community on it. It'll be very, very interesting to see. Um... What happens over the next few years? Our CEO is the man. I I have faith in him. He can turn something around. We'll see what happens. I'm balanced meeting some fans to dinner. My hat back on is still streaming. Dude, I appreciate it. No, you go enjoy your dinner. I got it. I'm doing that in a few hours with my family too. Enjoy your Friday, man. Enjoy your weekend. I'll catch you next time, man. Thanks again for the prime, dude. Um also, chat, you got to let me know if audio is like too quiet, too loud. I'm still messing with some settings because I got these new headphones. I can bump my audio way louder and I had to like redo all my audio settings. Yo, no head. What up, man? Thank you so much for the 28 months, man. God damn. For the 28 months. Let's go. That's wild. Dude, thank you. Thank you, man. Dude, how have you been? How have you been, dude? Happy Friday. 28 is crazy. Bro, where you been? In YouTube land, man. <laughs> Working on too many YouTube videos. But we're back. We're streaming a lot now. This year, we're back to being a real streamer. We're going to be streaming like three times a week now. It's going to be awesome, usually. We're back, baby. We're back. <laughs> We are back from the Twitch land, which I love. I missed it. I genuinely missed it. Like I, I like recording videos off stream, like gaming videos off stream in the sense that it's one less thing I have to, honestly, a few things less I have to focus on, but it's not the same. It's just, it's not the same. Cause on the other hand, it is nice having Twitch chat there it's just in a different way. Like it was more so of like when I was trying to make platinum videos, my ADHD brain was just in so many places and trying to focus on getting like certain achievements while streaming and while trying to be entertaining. And like, I have a guide pulled up on my second monitor. I'm like glancing over at the guide, mess that up, have to restart part of the game. It was just, it was such a nightmare trying to do platinum videos while streaming while I was still really new to it. I just didn't like it. So pulling back on the platinum videos for now. Cause honestly, I'm just, I wasn't passionate enough about it to like really push through it. So now we're just doing regular gaming videos, but they're going to be with a twist. They're going to be with a twist. The plan now is I'm going to take basically like the storytelling elements from my platinum videos, but then just, apply it to basically like let's play videos so like i'll be putting up a bunch of god of war videos and probably a second game that we're doing on the new gaming channel which let me double check that that fixed okay yeah yeah that new ryan Latham live which i'll be renaming but for now that is the new gaming channel where i've been posting all of my stream clips 
which is actually, I already have 100,000 views on that channel somehow. Like the, the clips have been doing great from starting from absolute scratch, haven't really advertised it much, and then I'm going to start uploading gaming videos to it next week. It's going to be awesome. Um, yeah, new headset. Corsair, I love the headset. But yes, dude, that this is my one complaint. I don't like this. Like, I, I, I enjoy the one. I've seen some people just throw this over their back, which is fine. But it's one of those braided cables. So when it like moves on your shirt, it makes so much noise. I don't know why they thought about this. I might look into getting something else, like a, a different cable for it. But I love the headset. It looks sick. I like it. Sounds good, too. Not the most comfortable in the world, but I could always end up buying another head strap at some point. To be honest, I feel like you should post everything to one channel, just my view. From a creator standpoint, I wish I could. I would absolutely love if I could. But I've tried for years to try to do that, and it just fails every time I've tried to post gaming and IRL content on one channel. I've tried so many times, it just fails. Unless you're already huge, like a, like you have already like a million subs, then you can absolutely get away with it. But basically for my vlog channel, I've kind of just like paused and I'm going to try and build up a gaming channel and then funnel those people over then to the vlog stuff and then just be able to post vlogs and post kind of whatever I want on that channel minus the gaming stuff. But in all honesty, like most people watch someone's channel for the topic usually unless they just absolutely love the person and those are the people like you who've been around forever like no i wish i could just watch everything on one channel it's so annoying to like have to just sub to many channels i'm the same way unfortunately most people aren't that way which sucks like anytime i would post any gaming videos they get like a few views on my channel that has over 5,000 subs and then go post it on a brand new channel with like five subs and I get five times the amount of views, if not more. Don't know how the algorithm works, but stats aren't everything. Gaming videos are definitely going to ruin the stats. And it's not even about the stats, but basically like the way that the YouTube algorithm works is like, for example, on my, on my uh, main vlog channel, which is mostly IRL content. People watch for the vlogs or the tech stuff. It's more so the tech stuff. Um, and then I post a gaming video and they're not wanting that for me. And so YouTube shows my new gaming video to all of my existing subscribers who are all wanting the tech stuff. They don't watch it. And then YouTube's like, oh, well, you can't even satisfy your own subscribers. We're not pushing this video out to anyone else, even to people that would enjoy it. So then it just dies immediately. It's dead on arrival. So that's why you kind of like, that's why so many people have so many different channels for even like not even that far off topics. Kind of sucks, but it, it's just the way the YouTube algorithm works. And it, yeah, it's not even necessarily about stats, but it's more of like, I'll spend a hundred hours making a video for it to get just a few views because YouTube's just killing it. But if I posted it on a different channel, it would actually take off. It's just a weird algorithm, but... It is what it is. You gotta play the game, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Ideally, someday, we'll get to a point where everything could be on one channel. That, that would be awesome. I would love that. That would be the dream, honestly. Maybe someday we'll get there, but for now, keep them separate. Yeah, my main focus now is this new gaming channel and streaming. Grow those things, and I think everything else will follow. So, we're going to have fun with it. And we already started God of War a few days ago. Which I was running into some tech issues with it. And I didn't completely solve it, but I know it's causing it now. Um, so hopefully we won't run into too many issues today. Yeah. Because a lot of times, especially with like newer channels... Um, they need to figure out where your videos are going to land and who's going to like them. So they'll push it to a, a bit more aggressively versus my other channel. They already kind of figured out, Oh no, we're going to push your videos 
regardless of what you title it and what your topic is, we're going to push them to tech people. And so I post God of War playthrough on it. And they're like, no, I it'd be like if Harris Heller po posted randomly on his channel today. Look at this high kill game on Apex. No one would fucking watch that shit. Everyone subscribed to Harris Heller because we wanted his reviews or his tutorial advice. No one cares about his gameplay. I mean, some people do, but most people don't. <laughs> so then that, those videos would tank. But if you started a second gaming channel, it might work. Best way to grow is just have fun. Don't do too much time in editing. Just getting out as many videos as possible. And that is the plan this year. That is the plan this year. I'm going to be based I'm, my goal is to pump out one video per stream, essentially. Probably not going to happen right away. <laughs> it's just, it's just without an editor, that's pretty unrealistic. But maybe like we'll combine two playthrough streams into a video. We'll see how it goes. We're going to be experimenting a little bit, but I'm excited to just do like pumping out as many videos as possible this year. That is one thing I've never done well. I'm the type of person that will cook a video for a month. <laughs> like all my platinum videos took at least a month. And those, those were brutal. I, there's a few videos where I edited for two weeks straight doing 12 to 16 hour days every single day. And I literally felt like a fucking zombie at the end of it. It was not fun at all. Not fun. Maybe someday we'll go back to that, but probably, Probably not for a very, very long time. So we'll see what happens. Also, again, for those of you who like to watch VODs that can't come to the stream all the time, I did start the new VOD channel today. Uploaded last stream to it. So you can sub to that, watch on YouTube. VOD experience is much better over there. Minus you don't get chat, which I forgot I needed to do that. I need to start adding chat back into the streams. Like, like on screen would be like here or something. I need to add chat back. We'll get to that. I'll do that next week. I have a long list of things I got to do. I've just been focusing on learning a new video editing program though. Anyways, yes, this is the year. We're having fun. We're going to be doing so many different games. Going to go through God of War right now. And I'm probably next Friday, I'm thinking I want to do the DLC for um, Resident Evil 4. And then we still need to do Jedi Survivor. Here, I'm going to pull up my games. We need to do Jedi Survivor. I wanted to do... Um, what's the other one? I want to do Mafia, the definitive edition. I want to do Horizon Zero Dawn at some point. I've heard those games are fun during it, but they're like not that memorable. I forgot someone equated it to basically watching like um like the Avatar movie. Not the show, but like the blue men. And women, I guess, whatever. It's like you loved it when it was happening, and but then you just never think about it ever again. Um, wanna do that. There's a few others. I have a I have a lot of games listed. I wanna do the latest Doom. I never did the latest Doom. That's hard. It's the best way. Maybe having plans with streams like I gotta get a win. Yeah. I mean, the goal right now is I'm still gonna do lots of single player games and basically do like edited let's play videos, but instead of it being a three hour video and it's just like very loosely unedited, I'm basically gonna take my storytelling from my platinum videos and apply it to a let's play video and condense it down to like a 15 minute video. I've seen a few people do it and it works really, really well. And it's actually way more entertaining than just like random clips. What feels like thrown together. <laughs> yeah, nothing too over the top. We're going to keep it pretty relaxed and chill. I'm excited. It's going to be a fun year. That's the goal this year is having fun. Yeah, my thing is, uh, basically it's almost going to be like, uh, I'm going to start out all my like, let's play videos or whatever, like kind of with like a topic basically.
and then it will like kind of go into the actual like gaming portion. You'll just have to wait and see. I've I've seen some people do it, and I really and it's one of the few. It's one of the few gaming videos that I'll actually enjoy because that's that's the weird thing is, I love watching Twitch streams. I will watch. Unless it's like a really bad game that I really don't care about. Um, I don't really care that much what game people are playing. But I will watch all my favorite streamers. I will watch them play anything. I'll watch them play through whole playthroughs. But gaming videos on YouTube, I just have barely any interest. Barely any interest. I don't know why, but I've seen a few styles where it's like... Ways that me as a viewer, I'm able to follow along... Like with a story, those are way more entertaining to me. I'm just playing. See if these are my tweaking. You mean like what you just heard? No, we're doing God of War. It'll pop up. Boom. Hold on. Get that off. Yeah, I'm mostly going to do single player games, but I will like sometimes like say X Defiant came out. I do a video on it and like a lot of my videos when I'm thinking and it could evolve. I don't know where it's going to go. We're just going to go with the flow, but basically like people love to do like video essays essentially um, for games. But it's like a 20 minute video where they're talking, giving their opinion the whole time. Don't get me wrong. I love giving my opinion, but not for 20 minutes because then you have to write a whole script. I'd rather like talk for a minute about my opinion on something. So like the next God of War video I'm putting out. I'll talk about God of War and like maybe my experience with a certain section of it or something or like, I don't know, like a little mini topic that goes into the gameplay. So it's like a little bit of everything. Um, I've seen some people do that and I really, really enjoy it. It's like you get some gameplay, you get some entertainment, you get someone's thoughts on something. It's going to be a fun year. It's going to be a good year. Switch over categories. God. Boom. Okay, so I realized why we were dropping frames last stream is I record my gameplay in like high quality, but then when I stream to Twitch, I like send over basically like a lowered resolution of it. And it's that aspect of my stream setup that's like killing my PC sometimes. Like if a game's super CPU bound, it absolutely wrecks it. So we're going to have to keep an eye on it. I might have to keep lowering my FPS. Hopefully, though, in the next few weeks, Twitch is fixing that. They're going to be implementing some things in OBS that will fix it. Then we can play in super, super high frames again. I've watched Blueprints, Rust videos, the video I do storytelling is next level. we got one hour videos that I'll watch with no doubt. I'll check them out. Yo, Truman, what up? And then try a hot sauce. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what I miss? <laughs> Where was that supposed to go? <laughs> AV1 for Twitch. What are we thinking? So my GPU doesn't do AV1, but um, basically it's like a... So I record in 1440p, but then when I stream to Twitch, I downscale it to, well, I think, 936p. And that downscaling happens on the CPU. But OBS is already gotten it in the back end they just haven't released it yet and they're probably waiting for the twitch thing is scaling now or in the future will happen on the gpu and will stop you from dropping frames because right now if my cpu gets hit too hard like if we start playing god of war right now and i have an unlimited frame rate we'll start dropping frames like crazy but if i take off the rescaling part then we won't be dropping frames it's just like that rescaling part on the cpu super tech shit but they're going to fix it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it comes out in the next few weeks. Never have that problem again. 
Unless they fire the team in charge of doing that. Wait, what I missed about the hot sauce? What I miss? My ADHD brain has already forgotten what I said a minute ago. <laughs> also figured out how to merge all the chats into one. You can write all the chats at the same time. Twitch, YouTube, chat in one. I still don't like the idea of multi-streaming. Like, I'd rather every viewer and the streamer all be in one spot and we all get it. And like, yeah, there are ways to merge it, but it's still just, it's not the same. I, the more that I've seen people do multi-streaming, I'm really against it. Unless it's like to like, you're streaming to TikTok. Like vertical ones where most people like, to like kind of check in. It's almost more like an ad at that point. You're listening how you want to have vids with a variety of things in them. I just threw in the hot sauce for, f oh, okay. I get what you're saying now. If you want me to do like hot sauce challenges or whatever, what is that box called from, uh, what's that channels? Hot ones. I do want to do some more IRL content this year for on stream. I think it'd be fun. Now that I have wireless lavs and like we'd know how to set it up and do like cooking streams and stuff. Maybe we'll do that on Bronte's channel more. I don't know. It's called Aircast Stream Chat. So nice. I'll look into it. I mean, if people could figure out a genuine good way to like make multi-streaming not be weird. I'm all for it. But from a viewer perspective, I don't like watching multi-streams. It's just, it's, it feels fragmented. Like you can feel it. It's weird. Also, Truman, thank you for calling that dude out last stream. That's like, oh, needy streamers or needy chatters are the worst. I, I experienced it more so on uh, YouTube and even watching YouTube streamers, seeing so many needy chatters that are like, Clearly the streamer's like in the middle of like paying attention to something else. And then chatters will just get so pissed off that like they're not just fucking stopping the whole stream to interact with the, their one chat if it didn't happen within the first two seconds. Like fucking chill, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, the repeater. It's like, dude, we're... title says first time playing God of War. You came to the God of War section, saw that I'm in the middle of a cutscene, and you're sitting there spamming that I didn't react to your fucking comment right away. Like, chill, man. <laughs> Would be nice if chat messages were different platforms, show up everywhere, so. And there, there is a program that will do that, but then it'll say, like, a bot will repost and be like, we'll say, like, whatever bot. So-and-so said this on YouTube, and it's just, it's just awkward, man. It's just awkward. Um, did I... Okay, back 90 FPS. Like, Discord. Hmm. You know, I was actually wondering, like, if Twitch went down, this is a complete side note, if Twitch did go away, I wonder how many people would try to stream on Discord. Because I know Discord's kind of been ramping it up a little bit. It actually seems like such a good place if it wasn't so hard to find people in the first place, you know? Yeah, like just like a Discord thread, basically, or a, a channel that's just like live chat. <laughs> Hopefully Twitch lets us use 10k bitrate because of the improved quality. Uh, yeah, they they will. I think they're going to bump it up to 10k, realistically. I think, I think realistically, they'll probably bump it up a little more. I think they'll probably give us like 12. Yeah, and Twitter. The problem with like Twitter and TikTok is those are platforms where you just your brain is in a completely different wired mode of like I mean it's, it's the problem with TikTok of having really long videos too 
But if you're scrolling on TikTok or Instagram or Twitter, X, whatever the hell you want to call it. I will always call it Twitter. It's Twitter. Um, <laughs> it's Twitter. I refuse to call it X. Anyways, the problem with those platforms is your brain is just in like, I need as much dopamine hits, as many dopamine hits as possible. Feed it into my brain. So you are scroll, 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 scroll as fast as possible on those platforms, wanting a new hit every two seconds. So you're scrolling along on TikTok, or in this case with Twitter, you're scrolling along, you see a live stream, you might pause on it for a second, but it's almost more like an ad of like, oh, that person's live, cool, and then you keep going. Like no one, no one's really sitting there watching on those platforms as much as people think they are. And if they are, it's for five minutes max. As long as it still says Twitter.com on my PC, I'm not calling it X. Facts. Facts. Even if it was called X, I'm still calling it Twitter. It's Twitter. I know he's a little out of touch, but like, and he doesn't really care about the value of a brand as much. But as something as ingrained, that's like literally, that's like renaming Google. That's literally like renaming Google. So many people miss say, oh, why don't you search something on the web? They'll say, why don't you just Google it? And it's interchangeable with the word like search. Now Twitter isn't quite that, but it's close of like, Twitter is such a known name. You renaming it to X is like literally just moronic. <laughs> I've watched multi streams on like Twitch, on um, TikTok, on YouTube, on Kick. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting something where people have done multi streaming, and every time, no matter where you are, it feels like you're in a subsection of a stream and you're not at the home base. And that's what Twitch is so good at with streaming and being in a chat is feeling like, okay, like I'm at the spot. It's this weird, like, community vibe, but when you split it across multiple places, even, like, if you are multi-streaming to a TikTok, you'll, like, I've seen so many people, like, not be talking to Twitch chat, and they're like, hey, guys, for over, for those of you watching over on TikTok, we're live over here on Twitch, why don't you come on over, and it's just, like, this weird, like, there's another, you know there's another group sitting somewhere, you don't really know what they're saying, and if you do, because they're merging chat somehow, it's just kind of awkward, I don't know, it's just... And I've heard this from so many viewers too. I've seen it so many times. It's just, it's not right. Uh, there's just something about it. Maybe we'll put up a PlayStation and everyone 25 years after the fact. Dude, don't even get me started about controller buttons. I'm, I'm a start and a back. Start and select, I'll get behind. But start and back for me. I might like a 360 made the most sense to me. Xbox 360 controllers, perfect. Start, back, boom. <laughs> they don't need to talk like that. Just talk like you're talking to everyone. But it's more so of like, um. well, it's, it's the two things. It's one, a lot of times streamers do kind of say, yo, people over here come to here because they're trying to funnel. That's annoying. But if they're not like that, it's more so of like, say you're watching a multi-stream on you're on YouTube, but then you see this chat flying because the streamer has it up. You see this chat flying, but then you look at your chat and it's not flying. And you're like, oh, wait, there's this whole other group. I'm like missing out. But then if you were on Twitch, but then you see a streamer reacting to a chat, not in what you're seeing on Twitch chat. You're like, wait, where did that come from? And like, not everyone realizes there's a chat on screen. Like they know it's there, but not everyone's reading that. There's just, it's too fragmented and it feels like you're almost missing out as a viewer. And I, I've seen it from so many different chatters and various people's streams. Like, go on Twitter when people talk about multi-streaming. It's, it's not a good viewing experience. Not that it couldn't be solved, but as of now, I haven't seen anyone do it right where... I'd rather 
have less views overall, but have a more dedicated, fun chat of like, oh, if like donos are popping off or if there's a hype train, but you're over on YouTube and you're like, oh, there's this hype train going on on Twitch. Like what? I don't, I don't know what's going on. It's just, I don't know. It's just not the same. Depends on the streamer. Most people probably multi-stream because they want the views. I mean, for as a streamer, it makes sense to multi-stream in a lot of ways. But it, I think anything that degrades the viewer experience is not worth it, usually. And multi-streaming is one of those where it can be going back and forth. Because on the one hand, you're like, well, more viewers might watch overall. Therefore, increasing the viewer experience. But then a lot of the viewers on one platform might not like that you're kind of splitting it up. I don't know. I don't have anything wrong with people doing it. If it, if you enjoy it, if other streamers enjoy doing it, have at it. But me as a viewer, I don't like it. As a viewer. And a streamer, I guess. Alright, chat. Alright, I can play for like... An hour, hour and a half, which I wanted to play a little longer because I didn't even get to play that much last stream. But I'm excited to keep going with this. Regardless, I was definitely a little lost at first. Not understanding like what the hell was going on in the game. But we're getting there. Also, again, let me know if the game looks a little too dark on your guys' end. I tried fixing some things. Should be a little better. Let me double check that it's working. Okay, yeah, it should be fixed. All right, let's do this, chat. God of War, day two? All right. Whoa. How did this happen? So, last time... Unfortunately... His wife died, now we're left with a kid. The kid is not up to speed. He's too young. That's what's going on, but he's gonna become a man real fast. I forgot to look all this up. But we're gonna be getting different weapons we can upgrade the stuff i'm sure the game will teach us probably just looking at that stuff too early anyways we gotta go though because some dude came and attacked us it's over here Ooh. also i don't know this yet but is this game actually open world it kind of looks like that with this map what's that Actually, yeah, let's go that way. What do we got? Health? Cool. It's open after the story. Interesting. I like games that appear open world but it's more linear and they clearly want you to go a very specific way. That's the best. G genuine open world games, I think, can get boring very, very easily. Who was he? I do not know. What did he want with us? We're nobodies. Did you kill him? I did what had to be done. <gasps> Yo. could have died. Leave me alone again. All right. All right. Damn, this game is beautiful, though. I will say that. Is the game too dark for you guys? I swear, when I look over at OBS, it looks really dark. I'm gonna brighten it just a bit. It looks okay to you. 
It's good? Okay. All right. I'll have to look back at the footage. But basically, I'm playing in HDR, and then it, like, converts over into OBS, so it's not 100% the same of what I'm seeing. But if it looks okay to you guys, we're good. Are you staring at the dark side of the waterfall? Kinda. <laughs> Up. You've had to kill people before, haven't you? You're used to it. We do what we must to survive. That's right. Animals I get. They're food. Draugr, they're supposed to be dead. But people, they're trying to survive too. Close your heart to it. On our journey, we will be attacked by all manner of creature. Close your heart to their desperation. Close your heart to their suffering. Do not allow yourself to feel for them. They will not feel for you. That's right. I understand. Kratos is a fucking man's man, you know what I'm saying? Has this been here all this time? Why don't you help me up there? I can get a better look. What is this? Ooh. And then you throw it again. Good idea. How, what's his name? Artreus? Is it Atreus? We're looking this up. What is the kid's name? It's a tr it's AT, right? It starts with AT. How do I see his name? Oh. Atreus. Atreus? Because it's not Artreus, because it's A T R E. Atreus. I'll pay attention next time he says it. I thought it was Art Artreus, but it's not. It's Atreus or something. Made it. Man, I'm drop the chain. I dropped that. Boy. Yes, sir. That hanging bucket. An offering cast? Mother said Odin's disciples fill them with gifts and hang them where thieves can't reach them. That one looked really old. Um. What is? How do we get my axe back again? Why? Gods care nothing for them. Men should not pray to monsters. Boom. Now do this again. It's pronounced Artreus, though. Okay, I'm gonna really pay attention next time he says it. Oh god. Relearning the buttons. Anyway. Back on our way. Father, will we see others on the road? Yes. Friendly? No. He'll try and rob us? Possibly. Yes. Huh. Yo, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Was that over there? And how do we get there? Oh, it's just that. Okay. <laughs> Armed as Lexi Gazelle. Uh, we'll just have to listen. Can I make that jump? Okay, good. That was sick. He doesn't even care to open it. He's just punching that open. Let's go. <laughs> Where's the kid? Huh. Back up we go.
When you played Hades, did you get to the game ending with 10 escapes? No, I beat it once and then was really close to beating it a second time and died with like his dad had one HP and then I never played it again because I was so pissed. <laughs> Whoa. Look. All this time, there's been a protection stave around our entire woods. But the stave's broken there. Did you cut those down? She had marked the tree she wished used for her pyre. Why'd she do that? Come. No looking back now. Guess we'll find out. This is really cool looking though. Do I say programmers hate gamers? <laughs> True, honestly. <laughs> Didn't bro just cut down the tree, stupid? I I still, and I don't want spoilers, I still have no clue what the hell's up yet with this like barrier and the gold hands. I don't even know who his wife was yet. Like I said, I've dabbled in previous God of Wars. Like Father, I played through I half. You should see this. What? See what? What are you? What are you looking at? Anyways, I played through half the one on PSP that came out first, the first one on PSP, and I went through God of War, the very, very first one on PS2. Like dabbled in it because my friend had it. But I never like had a PS2 at the time, so I never really got into God of War. Even though I in really enjoyed the gameplay, but I had no clue about anything of the story. Wait, what are we looking at, kid? Come on. There we go. So, how long will it take to get to the mountain? I do not know. Before winter falls? I do not know. Okay, okay. Here it's discovered. Wildwood's Edge. They don't see us. Should I fire? Before my mark. Oh, well, I fucked that up. Did that freeze him? Okay, done. Okay, we're on a roll. He just gets stuck in a tree? Where are we at? Where are we at? Threat indicators on screen. Okay. Okay. Oh, interesting. Purple is projectile. I'm ready. Well, I would probably rarely ever do that. Let's go. Bring them on. Oh, they can shoot stuff out of their arms now. Let's go. I keep rolling backwards when I need to roll to the side. Woo. Finish you off. Right, God damn it. 
I'm so bad with the rolling. Keep the pressure on. Why do I keep going backwards? Hello? Nope. That's not health. I need health. Shoot him, kid. Shoot him. Why do I suck so bad at this game? Come on. Oh, yo! Okay, okay. Okay. We're going Super Saiyan. Now, how do I take care of this dude? Do I just throw my axe at him? I didn't think it was going to be that strong throwing your axe. You should do that more often. How was that? Did I help? If you want to help, distract them. Whoever is not my focus should be yours, but only when safe to do so. I can do that. Look there. Yeah, I clearly have a lot to learn in the combat, but I, I'm having so much fun with it. Like, it is very satisfying. I'm just bad. But we'll get there. And we'll learn more moves and stuff like that, so. By the way, you're... I have tons to start watching. Your hair kind of looked like Woodpecker before. Yeah. My hair has definitely changed over time. And also, honestly, a lot of it was COVID. It was like, we didn't have anyone to cut my hair. So then it was like Bronte and I trying to figure it out. So the first year was rough. But we got there. Because it's right at the start and you haven't learned the movesets yet. It's probably a huge part of it too. Like, I feel like I'm super underpowered right now. We'll get there though. Ah, here are some health. Okay, what is this? Look here. Sir. There's a Yetnar settlement ahead. Yetnar. Giants. You can read the writing. Some. Oh lord. Just the language is mother now. They're all sort of connected, so sometimes I can feel my way through stuff I shouldn't know. You know? Ooh, what's this up here? More hack silver. Now, what do we spend that on? Anything else I'm missing? Can I break this stuff? I can. It wasn't really worth it. Okay, on our way. Plus. I mean, that just looks cool. That just looks cool. Okay, on our way. Pass to the mountain. Continue towards the mountain. Oh, hello. Hello? Let me do it. You gotta teach me that one. Dude, me too. That was sick. Anything else? Space your shots. Speed cost accuracy. Got it. I was sick. Hey, I think Ooh, what a is this? <laughs> well, you open that chest up normally. Else touch, light runic attack, an extremely quick burst of energy that interrupts and knocks back all nearby enemies. This is what I needed. I needed like some crowd control or something. You've acquired the Hell's Touch Light Runic Attack Gem. Runic gems allow you to customize your weapon to enable light and heavy runic attacks. Weapons tab is where you can slot. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. That's cool. You can upgrade them. Okay, so we got our light. Interesting. Let's just hold both of those together. I mean, we should try this out. That's sick. I think we can go through here. Wait, why can't I do it again? Oh, it has a cooldown. Interesting. That's sick. You see, literally, that's this. Now I'm okay with the combat. Now that I have this, I just felt like I was getting overwhelmed with enemies so much. Thanks. There's the mountain. Let's go. Not yet. Let's go. It's fine. See? You gotta be kidding me. Help! Nah, pull yourself up, kid. <laughs> Father, help! Hang on! Hurry! I'm slipping! Stay calm! Almost there! Come on, come on, come on. so bad slow Yo. down your haste will cost us hello mm. <sighs> why are they frozen uh, more drawler but these aren't moving are they dead i mean more dead boy not dead Fuck. not dead oh they have different difficulties on them interesting Oh, it's from green to purple, depending on how powerful they are compared to Kratos. Let's go. Remember, accuracy over speed. All right, should we try out our new ability? That's sick. I mean, it doesn't do much damage, but it backed him up a bit. Oh god, I am kind of screwed here. missing something how the hell am i supposed to beat all those guys they've burned his mother's ashes yeah remember accuracy over speed um okay let's just go i shouldn't have done that so early dude what in the hell Rip your ass up. Rip you open. Okay, we're getting it. Okay, let's try this ability again. That, that helps a little bit. It's better than nothing. If you open, nice. All right, we got this. We got this. Come on, come on, come on. It's my ability. Let's push you all back. God damn it. There's so many of them. Let's focus on a few at a time. Uh oh, not good. No, I know. Where's health? A little bit. Kind of cringe when you're supposed to be this strong, unlikable dude, and you just suck. 
Yeah, why does Kratos suck right now? And where's like all my weapons and stuff? Like I know that wouldn't make the game fun, but I feel like they didn't add that part in the story of like, oh, here's why you suck right now. Maybe they will tell me, I don't know. Let's try this again. Remember, so if I just start attacking everyone, like will this make it so less spawn? Nope, they just wake up. Interesting, okay. So I'm making my life harder. Let's finish this dude off. Boom. There we go. All right. That ability is useful. Bring it on, bitch. There's just so much happening right now. This is a little overwhelming. Why are there so many of you? Dear God. Health anywhere, please. A little bit. Well, these guys F off for like two seconds, please. Come on. Why did I get stuck on the edge of that freaking pot? Holy shit. Does damage on return. Do I need to be throwing my axe more? I mean, I know I need to throw my axe up at those dudes at the top. Let's try this again. God damn it. Oh, that works. Just hit him off the edge. Rip you open. Perfect. Here we go. I literally feel like I'm playing Doom when I do that. That's so satisfying. God damn it. Okay, let's go heal up. Fuck! I get stuck in so many animations. Like, I just want to run, and he's not running. Remember, Maybe I shouldn't have started on the hardest difficulty. Well, second hardest, whatever. Here we go, here we go. Maybe I'm gonna try blocking more. Here we go, we're doing a little better now. Here we go. It's just the guys that are shooting me that are pissing me off. All right, we got this. Will you F off for like one second, man? This is the last guy right here. Oh, 
And rip you open. Finally done. Okay, I just needed to block more. I think that was my problem. Was I better? Are we replaying Elden Ring all over? Dude, honestly. Only once. Show me control. Can I read this? Look at this. Nope, okay. Now it pops up. Read it. Oh, this used to be a marketplace. The giants used to gather here to trade with the gods a long time ago. Wonder if Odin was ever here. Trade grounds. Hello? Above us! Something's breaking through! Where? Something's breaking through the wall! We'll get back. What's up, dude? That did not do it much. What about this? Okay, let's go rampage on his ass. This is so satisfying. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. This is so cool. Wait, did he just respawn? Or he's more? What is happening? Why are there so many of them now? Nope. Oh god. Oh god. Not good. I am back in, backed into a corner. Come on. Finish you off. Let's go. Come on. Father, get up. Why is this game so hard? I'm not even on the hardest difficulty. I just feel like I'm doing no damage. Right, really didn't do much. Fuck. Nope, finish off the one dude first. Nope, come on, aim to the other dude. Finish you off. Maybe more pairing too. Oh God. I get stuck in so many animations. That's so weird. Just spam throw axe button. I wasn't doing much to him though. There's something up there. I've never been this bad at a game before. This is really weird. Something is not clicking and I don't know what. Beat his ass, beat his ass. 
Come on. Just one hit. I didn't mean to do that. I have no health anywhere. I'm fucked. Welcome to my life. Maybe I'm just trying to brute force it too much. Maybe that's the problem. I'm just like, no, no, I'll just out attack him. Something's breaking through the wall. I just need to be more patient. We're gonna try patience, okay? Something's breaking through the wall. Just a little bit. Come on. This dude up. These guys are so weak. Come on. Okay, I'm dodging way too early. Oh, well, those guys take a lot of damage from that. Rip you open. Oh! God damn! That was nasty. Last guy. We got this. Or not. I know I'm hurt. That came down to the wire. Oh my god. This game is way harder than I thought it would be. I'm not gonna lie. God damn. Also, if you don't Look, use the shield at the perfect timing, I think you get stunned. There. Yeah, it's just my timings are so off with like when I think they're actually going to end up swinging. So then I put my shield up way too early and then I get hit instead of parrying and my dodging is just off. We'll get it though. Uh, do you hear that? What is it? Hello? Who is that? Stay close. I don't like the sound of this. What is that? Mom? So we're going towards the Is this Elden Ring? What is going on? I did not think this game was going to be like this at all. Um, throw my axe at you? No. Oh, I'm poisoned. Okay, your stuff was stun her. Perfect. Sugar kid. That works too. All right, we're getting this. Shoot her again for me, kid. Oh my God. 
Just some health. That's a tick. Nope. Shooter, kid, shooter. Shooter a bit. Nice. That was a real revenant. A revenant. I will say these enemies are fun. Honestly, axe throwing before running in does a lot. Okay, I'll try getting used to that. You're just jumping? I still don't understand why that man attacked you at our house. I told you, boy. I know nothing more of it. What do we got here? What's that up there? Good question, kid. Steel. Ooh. Hello. They got jump scares in this game? I didn't know this was a horror game. Dude, that is so cool. That will never get old. Ooh. Got a lot more over there. Is this a trap? What's that over there? What is that? Oh. Nice. What do we got here? It's locked. It's sealed by rune magic. Let's say solve the what? Solve the three puzzles. So we got a little N thing over there. Look for a C. R. Where's the C? Earlier, you said people might try and rob us. I'll kill them if they try. <laughs> I'm not afraid. If we encounter Tell him, man, kid. you will stay out of it. Understand. But we will stay out of it, boy. Speak no more of this. There's the C. I did it. Wait, where to go? Isn't it like right here? Here we go. Just gonna hit that. Broke that seal. I didn't know if we had to do it in order or not. And then the end. I like that there's puzzles in this game. Hopefully something cool. What do we got? Yo? Legendary, you've collected one of three something apples needed to increase your maximum health. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Half of this, half of the words in this game, I'm not going to even try. Apples are the choice of food gods. Find nine total apples in the world. For every three, you'll increase your maximum health. Good to know. So we need to get over there. Ooh, more chests. I love that he just punches through that. What up, bud? Did absolutely nothing to you? Okay. What? Screw it. Let's go berserk on you. So good. Are there more? Yep. I want to... One of these again. Pick you up. So we have to fight multiple tough enemies at once. Love this. No, why am I locked onto her? How do you change who you're locked onto? Maybe that's my problem. Like I'm trying to lock onto someone else and it's not doing it. 
maybe I just stop locking onto people because I'm getting stuck. Beat his ass. God damn. I need this health. Let's finish this dude first. Heavy attacks, come on. Okay, back to you. I'm just so weak. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. Elf? Anywhere? I need to work on her. Maybe I'll finish you off. You're weaker. Rip you open. Let's go, you crazy witch. How? I really just died at the last second. Unbelievable. What's that over there? We're all the way back here. Dude, this game is tough. Holy shit. If you throw the axe at her, just it went through her. At least it did the last time. Okay, interesting. Still do that. No, oh, I stun her first and then the throw. Okay. Duh. Good thinking. Take it down fast. Come on. Eh, did a little bit of damage to her. Come on. Beat his ass. Where'd she go? I kind of want to take her up first. Oh my god. I just keep getting stuck in animations where like, I feel like I'm just stuck in mud. Is it something the way with like I'm dodging? 
So I dodge and then I do the roll. The problem that I'm having, honestly, is I getting locked onto one person. Like, I lock onto them. And then I'm like stuck and I can't even move my camera. Like I can't switch to enemies. How do you switch? Um. Maybe just, are you just not supposed to lock onto people unless it's like a 1v1? Follow me, Atreus. Maybe I fight this guy normal. Or not. Speed her ass while I can. Stun her ass. I'm wasting this. I just absolutely wasted that. Fucking A. Will you F off? Dude, I literally, I press block and he's not blocking. Something is not clicking with this. I'm just stuck in every animation. What's that over there? We'll get a chat. Where's the crazy lady? Just gonna try taking her out early. What the fuck, man? You get stunned by one enemy and then they all just fucking womp your ass. Am I just being too aggressive? What's that over there? All right, all right, all right. We'll take it slow. We'll take it slow. Minus this. Beat his ass, beat his ass. All right, one down. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Okay, oh, I didn't know you could block that. I didn't know you could block her little venom ground thingy.
Oh god, oh god. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Run away. I'm I keep Father, get up. I unlock and try to run away and he just stands still. What am I doing wrong? I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm weak. So I unlock from him and I try to run the other way and he just doesn't move. I feel like I'm just stuck in mud. What's that over there? Well, see, like, I understand, like, all right, if it was just a 1v1 fight, easy patterns. But it's like, if I wait for that dude's pattern to then run away, I'm getting hit from behind from three other people. So I'm like, oh, let's just run away. But then I try to run away and we're stuck in mud. Get him up fast. Now you're gonna stun her. I'm gonna beat her up. What are you shooting at, kid? Shoot her ass, kid. She's almost dead. Come on. Okay, so I'm trying to run away and I'm stuck in animations. Thank you, kid. Thank you. All right. Have run away instead of trying to kill the lady. Dude, this is over there. See, the problem is that if I try to be patient. Then I'm getting hit from behind like crazy, and I dodge one person's attack, and then I'm getting hit from another angle. So it's like I gotta be aggressive somewhere. God damn it, did that way too early. Okay, we're gonna be hyper patient. I'm gonna just block that. Dodge. Come on, I'm stuck. I literally can't even put up my shield and all my health is gone. I... What's that over there? Throwing the axe does like no damage to anyone though. Follow me, Atreus. I'm on way. Alright, so this ice dude. 
axe does nothing. Just beat his ass normally. I'll hit him off, okay. Beat your ass. Do it while I still have this. Quit locking onto her. Okay. We can do this. I'm just getting hit by so many things at once. Throwing the axe does like no damage to that dude. I need health. Oh my god. So many fucking animations I'm stuck in. Come on, we're doing this. Dear God. Throwing an axe instead of rushing and dying is a lot better in my opinion. I guess we need to get back up there. It's like, but, but the axe throwing for most people does like 1% health damage. I still have possibility all damage matters, even if they're low, I'll better finish them with an axe than to rush in. Maybe I just, I need to look up some videos and see how other people like play like exactly that section. Like I know I'm on a hard difficulty for someone that hasn't played this game, but God damn. I guess. I'll keep playing with it. Let go. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. I didn't realize I could hold it part way. There we go. You did it. Ooh. All these dead. You think it's safe in there? You think it's safe around here? on one any time rarely works you have to know where all of them are at the same time moving a lot and trying to stay out of corners are smart see my problem is like i start to get cornered in so i try to move out of the way but then i'm stuck in mud and then they all just molly want me and if i do try to move out of the way because i'm getting attacked from behind 
I have yet another person on me. It's like I almost need like a better way to like crowd control. I think that's my problem is just like the crowd control. So I feel like my attacks don't do any damage. To like back anyone off of me. Oh, what's that smell? Now. What do we got? Are they Hellwalkers? They're untouched. Look. Someone start the fires. Sigmund, your knives. So many days without meat. Meat. <laughs> Wait, us? Hello? Behind me. What if they change like the others? We'll have to keep them alive. Strip off their meat. A little at a time. What this is happening? This is mine alone. Easy enough. Okay. Father, help me. Come on. Nice kid. Atreus. There's Atreus, okay. Boy. He's not looking good. happening to him wait here I oh this he's going down We're gonna take what we've learned from our other fights and we're just gonna do a little bit of damage at a time and just be patient. Now, not get too greedy. Doesn't really do much. Rip you open. this. Let's go ape shit on him. One down. Last guy right here. Is that it? We did it. They came back. Okay, we're learning. They came it's a slight back. improvement. It is finished. I want to leave here. Then collect yourself. We must find a way out. Maybe I just really need to not lock onto people. Because I didn't lock onto anyone in that fight, and that was way easier. I'm just so used to games like Elden Ring, I guess, where you like lock on and then can easily swap between people. That's just not how this game works. Up we go. There is all here. Find something to pull me up. Okay. Alright. You going? Atreus, the chain. The chain, right. 
the hell's going on with you, kid? I know you just killed your first dude, but come on. <laughs> you are in your head, boy. Let it go. He would have killed you. I know, I had to do it. I do know that, I just... And we will go home, boy. What? To give up this easily. So close to the start. Wait, no! I'm not giving up. I can do this. I just have to, you know, catch my breath. Come on up. All right. I'm ready. Yeah, like that last fight, it seemed way easier to take turns because I'm not getting shot at from like five ways. I think that's more so what I'm concerned with is like I can take physical fights easy. But when I know that from behind me, from multiple enemies, I'm getting shot at. I think that's what's throwing me off. And like my, my timing's all messed up. I just need to practice it more. They let them do their attack and they need to do yours eventually. Do their attacks better. Let them do stun them by attacking. I don't think this game works like Street Fighter or any other fighting games where if you get a hit, you're scared the next hit. Oh, yeah, no, I know what you mean, because that's what a lot of times I'm like, no, I'll just outpower them because I'll get the one hit in and then I'll, like, be able to do five more hits. Okay. Can I go through here? Nope. What is that sound? Listen to me. To be effective in combat, a warrior must not feel That's for probably his enemy. also what's messing me up. The road ahead is long and unforgiving. No place for a boy. You must be a warrior. Get up and move your ass. I'll kick you square in the ring if you don't move. Hello? Who's saying that? You seem important. No. What you waiting for? Come on already. Let's go. It's down here. Is where I'm supposed to go? Or is this a little side area? What do we got here? Who are you? Faces of magic. New artifact set. Take the XP. Are we fighting our first boss? Well, I guess second boss. I forgot we already took down the intro boss. Just making sure we got our stuff. Oh, hello. What you waiting for? Come on already. Let's go. What does this dude want? Oh. It's actually just a normal person. Can't get this slow-eyed cock lump to cross the bridge. Hm. It's because she's scared of something in the trees over there. There's what now? Huh? Father, throw your axe at those trees on the other side of the bridge. The ones with the white trunks. <laughs> Wait, what? Must be smart or something, boy. You are a boy, aren't you? Ha! Does she have a name? I don't know. Rude bastard ain't ever ask mine, so I ain't ever ask hers. Ah! Ha! What's yours? Brock. Let her look at. Ah! Uh. Uh. 
Say, uh, kid has talent. You're not gonna believe me, but that axe you got, uh, it was me what made her. Me and my brother was one of our best. So don't let nobody else go work on her except for us two. You gotta handle her special, or she'll wreck beyond fixing. I can enhance her for you right now if it so pleases you, son of a bitch. So what say you? You are right. I do not believe you. Come, boy. There's a rune in the shape of a fork under the grip. No, digger beach god boomer. That was our brand, my brother and me, before we split. I got half of it right here, see? Look, you want I should upgrade her or not? Very well. I expect an improvement. So, where's the other half of the brand? Oh, my dumb brother's got it. But I got all the talent. Look! Okay, what's good? Great weapon. Welcome to the Dwarven shop. From here you can upgrade equipment you already own or craft entirely new equipment. So you have a frozen flame, a rare resource. Resources found in the world can be used to craft and upgrade your equipment, okay? It's power levels and stats, upgrading this axe, increase its strength. Attack, which can be increased. Okay. Cool. Axe is now at level two. Find another frozen flame to upgrade later. Upgrading your weapons unlocks new skills for purchase. Visit the skills tab in the pause menu to purchase them. So you can upgrade and also craft. Oh, with all that silver we got, okay. Okay, so what I have is equipped on the right. Very comfortable, but slightly increases strength. Takes away my luck. Wait, so if I craft this, then I craft it and then swap it out. It's not like I'm upgrading anything. Okay. I don't really want either of those, to be honest. I've been out hunting, right? I've gone fishing. And then I... Never gone, like, actual hunting. I mean, I've gone out with, like... I've gone out once with some friends that had, like, a... pellet gun for shooting, like, certain birds, but never actually ended up doing it. We're going hunting right in the game. In the game? I don't think we went hunting in the game. I'm in, I live in America. People go actual hunting in real life. So I just assumed you were like, yo, America. You do American things? Oh, shit. I gotta get going soon. Okay, I gotta wrap this up. Um, I don't think I want to upgrade any of that. Something for but we can upgrade boy. his stuff. Enemies are... Enemies choked by him. Does he choke people out that much? Yes, this is what I need, absolutely. Hey, don't be a small 
Cool. Does. That's natural armor. Increase Let's RTS recovery it. speed. Oh. Cool, cool. Say the word, kid. Oh, fuck, should have upgraded his bow. Next room will probably be Monday. Monday, maybe Tuesday. Ideally, I'm trying to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We're really building up to that. Depending on uh, how much of the edit I can get done for his next YouTube videos. But usually it's going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I can sell stuff. Sell all. Hope you got what you cool. wanted. Well, don't look now, but our friends who were hiding in the trees are back for more. Go on, give that action. God damn it. As long as you don't break nothing. Shoot him, kid. Or not. All right, let's uh, take what we've learned. So I need to take care of you guys first. You guys are going to piss me off. Finish you off. Finish you off. Alright. Last guy. I think. Nope. We got a few more. See what my touch sprung? Adequate. Adequate. You don't want Simon Clipsburg for that footwork, you stepping shit! Alright, alright. Easy enough. Say, your paw can kill. You gonna learn to do that too? I'm not sure. This road, it leads to the mountain. Should put you in the right direction, sure. Wanna see my wares again? That's what I'm talking about, nice. We're learning, we're learning, we're getting there. Honestly, I think the more that I play this game, certain things will just finally click and like the timing of different people's attacks and when I should dodge versus rolling versus blocking or just going crazy with it. We'll get there. This is definitely a tough game for me, but I'm sure it'll click. All right. Well, let's save up here. I think there's a good spot to save. We'll just auto save. I'm assuming it's just going to auto save, right? I'm sure it will. Hopefully. Guess we'll find out next stream. <laughs> All right, chat. All right. I got to get going. Got to go do a family dinner. A fun stream today. A little frustrating at times, but. We'll get there. Wait, there was a button to save. Are you kidding me? Did I miss that? There's no way. Was there a save button? Yo, Biggie, what up? Just got home, so I was gonna make it back. Dude, just in the nick of time before I hop off. It was right there in the menu? How did I scan over that? There's something with my brain when I'm streaming. I'm like five steps ahead of like, okay, I gotta rechat, gotta play the game. And I'm like, so flustered. 
in that way where like my brain does not work the same. If I wasn't streaming, I guarantee I would have seen that. There's something about when I'm streaming, my brain just having that extra layer of, oh, there's a chat, fucks my head so much. It's the actual Twitch streamer brain rot. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, I gotta get going to a family dinner. Um, I want to say this was fun, but was it? It was frustrating, but I'm having, like, I enjoy the game. I really do enjoy the game. I just need to get something to click right. And like I said, we'll get there. I just need to figure out the exact timing between when to dodge, when to roll, when to block, when to just run away, when to do just a few attacks or just grind it out and just mollywomp their ass. We'll get there. I'm, I'm sure it's going to click because this is a really cool game so far. I have no clue what's going on story wise, but I'm hooked. We're going to get there. I'm, I'm excited. Overall, though, I am excited to keep playing this game. I'm excited for next stream. I'm sure we're going to have a blast. Um, like I said, next stream should be Monday. Um, going to work on making some videos this weekend. I'll probably have two separate videos. Um, I'm going to work on. Ideally, the plan is three streams a week. Two streams be a main game, whatever we're doing, like God of War right now. And then on, usually on Friday, we'll either do like a multiplayer game or maybe we'll do like a smaller side game, something like a DLC. Like I need to go through, um, I need to go through Resident Evil 4 DLC still, or maybe it's just going to be like a small Steam game, like a Dave the Diver, or like just some little small thing. Um, or if there's any good multiplayer games out, we'll do that. So that's the plan. You'll usually have two things going at once. One main game, one side thing. I'm excited though. Yeah, thank you guys again for the subs today. I really appreciate it. Really means a lot. Um, I miss streaming. It's fun being back. It is fun being back. I, I genuinely enjoy streaming now, which is weird because during my Apex days, I hated streaming, but it was more so that I just hated Apex. <laughs> I hated doing the same stream over and over and over and over and over. But I actually enjoy streaming single player games. I really do. And I enjoy multiplayer games when they're still fresh. But Apex for the millionth time, not the move. <laughs> so I'm glad we've moved on. Anyways, seriously, thank you guys so much for hanging out today. I really appreciate it. You guys enjoy your weekend. Play some fun games. And then uh, on Monday, let me know what games you guys played. What you guys did over the weekend. Eat some good food. Drink some good drinks. All that good stuff. Um, also, again, if you guys haven't already, I would really, really appreciate it. If you guys are interested at all, go subscribe to the VOD channel. I'm going to start uploading all of my VODs to YouTube just as a place for like an archive, basically. Um, so if you guys ever miss a stream, go put it on the background while you're doing other stuff and just play it on YouTube. But more importantly... Go subscribe to the new gaming channel. It's the Ryan Latham Live, which I'm going to rename to RL. The actual just screen name that you see, though, is just Ryan Latham on it. That's going to be, like, my main channel going forward. And then my vlog channel is going to be, like, the side channel. Um, and then the VOD channel is just thrown in there. But, yeah. Seriously, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Go sub to those YouTube channels. Hopefully, Monday, Tuesday will be the first gaming video on that new channel. Should be good. Um, do I have any other updates for you guys? I need to go get more music. I think that's all the updates I got for you guys. <laughs> all right. Seriously, you guys enjoy your weekend and I will catch you guys most likely on Monday. Peace chat. <laughs>